Unlike several of his recent cabinet picks where you had to squint to match the resume to the job, today's selection, like yesterday's pick for DOT, comes with a CV packed with environmental bona fides. She has served, and this is a long list, as Assistant New York Attorney General and as the Deputy Chief of the Environmental Enforcement Section of the Federal Department of Justice. She has been Deputy Assistant Administrator of the Office of Enforcement and Compliance Assurance at the Federal Environmental Protection Agency and served as one You get the idea. She's been around. The naming of Catherine McCabe as the governor-elect's pick to head up the state's Department of Environmental Protection drew praise from the state's enviro community, who spent almost eight years in the political wilderness. We have no more time to waste. Now is the time to take action, both to help lead the way in helping to slow climate change and adapting to make our communities more resilient. I remain and we remain committed to a new energy master plan, one that we have not had for a long time in this state, that would see our state achieve 100% clean energy by the year 2050 with, importantly, achievable shorter-term benchmarks. Getting there by encouraging wind, solar, and other alternative energies, and focusing, yes, on the shore, where resilience is critical, but also on urban New Jersey, where choking smog from trucking and other port activities has affected asthma and cancer rates. She's been a strong enforcer going after polluters for wrongdoing at a time when we've had an agency, not just in the Christie administration, but previous administrations who've kept um, scaling down the agency and actually not going after polluters. We certainly have to make up for lost ground over the previous administration, and that's going to take uh, some really dedicated individuals. Uh, she's going to need to build out a strong team. Um, but I think New Jersey is well positioned to be a leader once again on environmental protection. We have been looking out, my husband and my children and I, for years at that horizon that we're looking at here and saying, when are the windmills coming? Clearly, this has got to be New Jersey's future, and this is an opportunity we've been waiting for for too long. Murphy said the choice of this new environmental sheriff should be a signal to polluters who've ravaged the Garden State for generations with impunity, but also to those companies looking to take advantage of the green economy, which Murphy says has been slowed to a crawl in the state. In Long Branch, I'm David Cruz and JTV News.